so you join me for vlog number three. So today we're gonna switch things up a bit. We're not gonna travel to London. We're not gonna go to an event. We're just gonna talk about startups. And today I'd like to talk to you about uh, ideas. And uh, is everything an idea? Is everything an idea in terms of how a startup is? So if you have this most wonderful idea, I don't know, widgets for polar bears maybe, uh, or some, some great service idea, is that everything? Is that everything that will make your startup brilliant? Or is there more to it than that? Well. Kind of a trick question, kind of a trick question. Uh, there is much, much more to it than that. Now, some, some people, when they look at your idea, will, will look at it and some ideas are genuinely fantastic. But I tell you what, it's not just the idea, it's the execution of the idea. So it's not necessarily what the idea is, because, uh, you know, you've probably heard the phrase, ideas are cheap, and ideas are cheap. There are tons of them around there. There are tons of people who've taken other people's ideas and built far bigger and better businesses out of them than people who came up with the ideas in the first place. So the real key and the real interesting part for me is taking those ideas and implementing them better than anyone else. So it's almost a cooler position to be in to watch someone else take an idea and maybe screw it up. And you think to yourself, hmm, I could probably do better. I now know what works and what doesn't work. And I now know that there's certain things that I should do and that I can do, that I can bring to the table that are far better. So the, the great thing about humanity is we're all unique. We're all amazing people. And there's a unique twist that we can bring to everything. So uh, you don't have to have that wonderful idea to start a business. You don't have to be someone who's just bubbling with, with amazing creative things all the time. You have to get stuff done. And that is the real key having a startup so uh, so in my first startup I had the idea and I sat and procrastinated on it and it wasn't until I actually worked with people who could fill in the gaps in terms of what I couldn't do because my startup was into AI when I first started and by doing that actually being able to bring people in and us being able to build up some momentum and some traction by being able to get some work done actually pushed the business forward so again don't focus on the idea, focus on the work to get yourself to building a great business. And uh, there'll, there'll be ups and there'll be massive downs and there'll be excitement, elation, and there'll be complete crippling depression <laughs> when things go horrendously wrong. But the key, boys and girls, is to keep going. And uh, you know, I don't think there's any greater secret in this world, uh, especially in the world of startups, is literally just to keep going. So uh, that's my little tip for today. Oh, it's you! A bit distracted there. We're talking about distraction. Here is my final thought. So, focus on getting stuff done in your company. We talked about execution in my previous vlog, and execution is everything. But what we tend to do is we get distracted. We get easily distracted by the bling. So, I'll give you an example. I was so entranced and so amazed by building up an amazing company that I already had in my head. I was in an office and I started looking at offices and I thought it'd be great to have a nice desk, wouldn't it? Fantastic. And I started looking at desks and then I thought, well, I probably need a nice brand new computer for that lovely, beautiful desk in that amazing office. I looked at the computers and then and I started looking at office plans because office plans are cool on their own. And I started looking at office plans and budgeting out how much they costed. And what I wasn't doing was my business. So in a nutshell, like a new business. Don't get distracted. Sorry. Bye. And before you get far too distracted, my name is Simon Berry. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at eggwhisk, Snapchat at fullbar55, or if you want to email me, simon.berry at gmail.com. Take care.